Okay, now you learned the quadratic formula, how to find the two x values. Okay, and that's great. Well, I'd like to be able to find the vertex, and it's real simple. It's the easiest thing ever. Okay, um, the quadratic formula is x equals opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Hey, okay. This is 3x squared minus 6x minus 4, so my a is 3, my b is negative 6, my c is negative 4. To find the vertex, it's this simple. As long as you can remember this formula, x equals opposite b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Hey! Okay, this is always the x part of your vertex. Okay, the opposite of b divided by 2 times a. I'll write that a little darker. Opposite of b divided by 2a. Well, what's the opposite of b? Well, 6. What's 2 times a? It would be 2 times 3, so I'd end up with 6 over 6. Do you see how that would be a 1? 6 divided by 6 is 1. So I know the first part of my vertex. That's how you find the x part of your vertex. To find the second part, once you find this x, you plug it in, plug it in, you plug it into the original problem. You see what you would, you know, evaluate that using whatever this X is. So this one is gonna go in for X up here and here. So I've got three times one squared minus six times one minus four. One squared is one, you always do exponents first. One times three is three. Negative six times one is negative six minus four. I do three minus six, I get negative three. Negative three minus four, negative seven. So I got input, I input the one, I got out a negative seven. This is my vertex, okay? It's that simple. Opposite of b over two a, the first part of your quadratic formula is your vertex. Okay, and then you plug whatever value that works out to be, you plug it into the problem.